Hello to you, my jewelry maker friend. If you're a fan of minimal style, this tutorial is just for you. We are going to make a very fast and easy wire jewelry that is a triple square one. All we need our main tools, round nose pliers, chain nose pliers, wire cutter, wire of about 0.8 or one millimeter in thick, and I'm using 0.81 in this tutorial. A piece of paper, pen or pencil. So we start by drawing the map and the lines that we are going to cut on our wire. We need a three square that I have drawn here with three sizes. The first one have 1.5 centimeter of side the second one, two centimeter, and the third one, 2.5. And we are going to multiply every size length to four, because we have four sides for each square. So for the first one, would be six centimeters. The second square, we need eight centimeter of wire and for the third one 10 centimeter and we are going to add up these numbers with 1.5 that is an approximate number for the hook and weaving parts so we cut our wire and these three sizes 7.5 9.5, 11.5, and these are those three wire lengths. And what we should consider, and is one of the most important parts, is that we should be careful that our wires won't be curved just like this. We correct it at the opposite side that it has curved and we try to straighten it up if it's okay with your hand then lucky for you if not you could use your chain nose pliers to correct some parts or you could use a plastic hammer or any hard hammer parts like the plastic part of your tools or a wooden surface just like your ring mandrel put it on a hard surface and start to hammer it like this now we pick up every one of these wires and we are going to put it on each square that we had drawn first one with the side of 1.5 I put the first wire but leave about half of a centimeter or even more about one centimeter and then I start to bend it the first one is at one centimeter distance and the second one at 1.5 centimeter and here we need to make a 90 degree bend with keeping the wire tight with our chain nose pliers and pushing it to have a beautiful 90 degree bend if needed we could repeat this on both sides and repeat it to have a square. Finally, we continue that for all of these three squares and our three strands of wire. And each of them would be something like this. We are going to wrap one of these tape all around the other one. So, we wrap 
one of these tails and make a U shape just like this and we push it tight with chain nose pliers We cut the extra parts with our wire cutter. And now at the other strand, we make a 90 degree bend. And with our round nose pliers, we make a little loop. Just like this. And we repeat this for these two squares too. When we finished making those loops at top of every square, this is the time to attach these three shapes. But now in this step, we could hammer these squares and have a flattened surface or just leave it as it is and i'm going to hammer it a little how do you prefer this to be curved or flattened i have flattened and hammered these squares if you would like the same effect you could use your hard hammer to flatten these wire surfaces. Just you could continue the instruction of hammering in this in previous video. This is the time to attach these three parts and also earring hook. We need jump rings that is a little big. Mine has about seven millimeters in diameter. We open one just like this, insert our biggest square in. We put it on the second square and insert the jump ring and then close it. You should just be careful not to leave any space in jump ring or these loops and we are going to continue the same for the smaller square so we insert loop and we put it on the smaller one and insert the jump ring and its loop then we close it. At the end, we are going to join and add the wire hook. And this would be our very beautiful square wire earring. You can also fix this little square to the bigger one with inserting another jump ring just like this one with a jump ring added in this place somewhere that joins the smallest square to the biggest one and this would be the result and or just leave it to be free hope you had enjoyed this tutorial Make one and enjoy it. Thanks for watching. Take care and bye-bye.